Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this one, I'm going to be showing you the best Swallop build for Raid and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This Pokemon is going to be a very strong support Pokemon, but you can only catch it in Pokemon Violet unless you go in a Terror Raid. And if you do find it in a Terror Raid, you can actually get it on Scarlet as well. It'll be in four star Terror Raids. So let me show you where to get it on Violet. So if you fly over to Castroya Watchtower number one, and then we're going to be going right here, just on the edge of the lake. So you just want to make your way over there. And as soon as you get down here, one should pop up relatively quickly. Just look for a little bit. So one has spawned right in front of us for gulpins, one swallow. We're going to catch the swallow. So when you catch it on Violet, it'll just be a guaranteed poison type terror. So you don't need to worry about that. But if you do catch it on Scarlet, you will need some terror shards. You will need 50 poison type terror shards. I don't have any on my Violet account. But you get these by doing poison type raids. I believe at free start and above. And then you would come over to Medali East. And then you would just head in this direction towards this restaurant right here. Go all the way up to the top, speak to the person with the yellowy orange text. And he will change your terror type in exchange for 50 shards of any type. Okay, going to move on to my Scarlet account because that's where all my builds are. See you in a sec. So we're back on Scarlet and we have our poison type terror with our Swallow. And now we're going to want the item leftovers. What this does, it recovers 6.25% of your health every single turn at the end of the turn. Now, if you're wondering where to get this, all you have to do is fly over to Cascarefa North. Once you're here, we're just going to be jumping over this water right here. And then we're going to be heading inside this deli bird shop. And then you want to click on battle items. And this is where we're going to buy our leftovers for 20,000 poker dollars. Now, when you get out of this shop, I want you to zoom in on Cascarefa as much as you can. And I want you to put a waypoint right here. So we're going to be traveling along this path all the way to the end and then turning right. This is the Chansey supply shop. This is where we're going to change our nature. So you run across this long road right here, turn right, and it's your first shop on the left, the black and green one. So this is where we can actually change our nature. We're going to be doing the dark blue ones, and we're going to be using the bold mint, which is up in defense and down in attack. We are defensive, but all of our attacks are special attacking attacks, so we don't need our attack. So as you can see, up in defense, down in attack. Our EVs are going to go into HP, Special Defense and Defense. We're going to be going max HP, then half Special Defense and half Defense with the ones remaining. This will make us bulky on both sides. If you don't know where to get the actual items for this, then you can just head back in the Chansey Supply Shop. And then we'd need to be buying HP ups, irons and zincs. HP up is for our HP. You're going to need 26 of those. You're going to need 13 iron, which is for our defense. And you're going to need 13 zinc, which is for our special defense. Once you've done with that and you've applied them all, it should look something like this. Next up, we're going to be getting our max IVs. You're going to want to make sure you have max IVs in everything except for attack. If you don't know how to check your max IVs, just go on your main menu, click on boxes. And when you hover over your Swallow, it should say hyper trained are best if you have a max IV in any of your stats. We don't have one in attack because we don't need it. And then you can find out how many max IVs you actually need to get because you could save yourself a bit of money. So if you don't know how to get max IVs, just head to any deli bird shop and then click on general goods. And then we're going to be buying bottle caps. For every bottle cap, we get one max IV. So you'll need a maximum of five, which will cost you 100,000. After you've got all your bottle caps, you want to head to Montenegro. And then we're going to be going forward and speaking to the guy with the Obama Snow. He will hyper train your Pokemon. Then you would click on your Swallow and then Bottle Caps. And then HP, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense and Speed. And then you can start the training, leave Attack, it's just a waste of money. Moving on to our ability, we have three abilities. Neither of them are really that helpful in raids. The first one is going to be Liquid Ooze and that's the one we're going to be using. And when the opponent uses something like Drain Punch, instead of regaining health, they'll lose it. The second one would be Sticky Hold. That means the user's held item cannot be taken by other Pokemon. I don't think the raid bosses can actually take your items though. So that's useless. Our third ability is going to be a hidden ability, which is gluttony. This will allow us to use berries that usually activate when we're at less than 25 HP, but instead we'll use them at less than 50% HP. I mean, that ability is okay. It's not going to be too useful, and it's definitely not worth an ability patch, in my opinion. So we're going to be going with Liquid Ooze. Now our moveset is going to be Sludge Bomb, Acid Spray, Gastro Acid, and Stockpile. Now, if you do have the Sticky Hold ability and you want the Liquid Ooze ability, all you need to do is head to a Chansey Supply Shop and, and you can buy the ability capsules for 100,000 Poker Dollars. 
Moving on to our move set, we have sludge bomb, acid spray, gastro acid, and stockpile. Now you don't have to use sludge bomb, but I always like having a strong attacking move, even if we are running support. You can exchange this for either thunder wave or helping hand. I would recommend helping hand if you don't want to use sludge bomb. Our second move is going to be acid spray. This is going to be a very aggressive supporting move. We basically just attack the target and it lowers their special defense by two stages. It's a weak move, but it allows our allies to dish out a lot of damage if they are special attackers. Gastro Acid is going to eliminate the effects of the target's ability, so all them moxies, all them defiance and all that stuff that's a real pain, then we're going to be able to get rid of all of that. Stockpile is going to be a defensive move. Say we're taking a lot of damage because the other Pokemon is quite strong, you stockpile and then you'll keep recovering health every turn with leftovers and you can stay alive. So Acid Spray, Stockpile, Gastro Acid and Sludge Bomb are all from level up, so as soon as you get to level 100 you can relearn all these moves you don't need to worry about anything you can just get straight into the raids if you do want help in hand off under wave though you can just visit a pokemon center it will be the green section of the pokemon center i'm not going to go over where to get everything for these tms because we're not using them in our build but that's where you're going to get them and because we're using a support build we're going to get into some online raids to find people to support because we can't really support ais but before we do i just want to say we have a discord it's amazing over there quite a few people have joined already i'd love it if more people could come on and join everyone's welcome Let's get into them raids. So we found our first Pokemon. It's a six star poison type Clodzire. So what we're going to do is we're just going to connect to the internet and then challenge as a group as soon as we find our six star raid and let anyone join. So once some people have joined, we're just going to ready up and then we're just going to wait till everyone chooses their Pokemon. So it looks like we have two supports and two DPS. So we've got a Chansey, a Garchomp and a Zippy Zaps, I think that is. So the actual shiny Zippy Zaps that is in our team is going to be doing the most damage most likely because of that acid spray so i'm going to use stockpile first turn because this thing is a ground type so it can do a lot of damage to us if we don't use that it's going to use earthquake on us see it's not going to do any damage to us because of that stockpile and we're going to get some of that health back as leftovers going to nullify the stat changes on our side unfortunately we're going to use acid spray try and help out that um zippy zaps this will decrease its special defense by two stages. So we grow drowsy now. So it's used yawn on us. So we're going to fall asleep next turn. So I'm going to stockpile at this turn. Get our defense and special defense back up. Our leftovers did put us back to full health. It's going to use yawn again, which is going to fail. We're going to heal next turn and wake everyone up on our team. Looks like Chansey's done it, so we don't have to. And now we're just going to spam that acid spray. Help out the zippy zaps to take out the Clodzire. So we can't take any damage really from this Pokemon right now. It uses Earth Power. It's going to do a lot of damage as you can see. I don't know what ability this Clodzire has, but I'm just going to use Gastro Acid. No, I'm not. It won't affect it now because of the shield. I didn't think its shield would go up that early. Oh, we didn't actually use the attack though. Uh, I'm going to just use a Sludge Bomb. It's going to use Yarn on us. Garchomp's going to use Earthquake to do a little bit of chip damage. Now we're going to cheer and heal the whole team up. Wake them all up because all of the Pokemon are asleep except for Garchomp. Now we're just waiting for the Pokemon on our side to terrestrialize. So they're just going to do chip damage until they do terrestrialize. Now this wasn't the most fun raid to watch because this six star raid can be quite annoying because Clodzire is really bulky and it has yawn that it just spams all the time. Looks like the actual Garchomp is a steel type terror so that's not going to help us at all in this situation. Now the Sandy Shocks has, is it Sandy Shocks or Zippy Zap? No, Zippy Zap's an attack. So Sandy Shocks is going to terrestrialize. I'm going to heal up because I don't want this uh, Sandy Shocks to die while he's terrestrialized. He's kind of our like, only chance because he's our only special attacker. We do take a lot of damage there from the actual Clodzire, but it was worth it to keep the Sandy Shocks alive. And then we use Stockpile to get back up to our defense and special defense boost. Unfortunately, the Sandy Shocks does get put to sleep again, so we're going to heal up. And then Sandy Shocks is going to use Earth Power, do a lot of damage. We just need a couple more attacks for that shield. We are asleep now and we can't wake ourselves up, but we can heal while we're asleep with our leftovers. We did have a nice system going in this raid. I was healing the Sandy Shocks that kept taking heavy hits from Earthquake. And Chansey was using Helping Hand on the Sandy Shocks while it was dealing damage from our Acid Spray boost from earlier. Now the Sandy Shocks should finish it off in one more, hot sh one more shot, sorry. And it does and Clod's eyes down. Now everyone was asleep so many times in that raid. It was a difficult raid to do, especially because we were a poison type and we couldn't actually like really do anything to the Clod's eye, and it was doing a lot of damage to us because we were a poison type and it was a ground type. 
So let's move on to the second raid. So we found our second six star raid. It's going to be a rock type Mimikyu. And now we just need to find some people. Now we have a Sylveon, a Scizor and an Azumarill. So I'm going to ready up. There is one special attacker being Sylveon, but it's not going to be super effective, but it's going to do a little bit of damage just because we've got the acid spray. So we're going to see how it goes. So even though we only have one special attacker and it's not super effective, we should be able to do this raid easy enough. So I'm going to use acid spray on the first turn. This will reduce that special defense by two stages it's also going to get rid of that disguise ability now i'm going to heal up because the azumarill's on max attack and it's getting low on health the azumarill does get a full heal which is amazing mimikyu is not going to be able to do any damage to us way too bulky the azumarill is going to do even more damage to the mimikyu taking it on about a third of its health so our job here is just to find who's going to do the most damage on the actual team and just try and keep them alive as much as we can the Mimikyu is going to use Sword Stance here, which is not good. So right here, I'm going to use Hang Tough to try and just minimize the effects of that Sword Stance. This will increase the defense of the whole team for three turns. And that allows the actual Azumarill to survive. And then we're going to use Heal Up, try and heal it to a point where it can't die from a shot again. Hopefully we get a big heal. We don't get a big heal that time, but I think it was enough for it to survive a shot. Someone else heals, which is amazing. I'm going to use Acid Spray. And then the Sylveon's going to use one of its moves to try and do a bit more damage. Now it's just one shot from being taken out. And the Scizor uses Iron Head to finish it off. As you can see, because that wasn't a really bulky raid that was putting us to sleep every turn, that raid was quite quick. And that's the second raid down. Let's move on to the third raid. So our third raid is going to be a six star water type Haxorus. Now we did just attempt this, but all three Pokemon that I was assisting were all dragon types and got one shot all game. There was nothing I could do. I tried defense cheering, healing, everything. Like there was just getting one shot all raid. I'm not even sure if they was level 100 or not. So let's try it again. So this time we don't have any dragon types, which is great let's see how this one goes okay so what we was doing is we was just waiting for iron hands to use belly drum and then we're going to heal up because he's on low health getting back to that uh, near max health so we can use an electric move and do a lot of damage on max attack this lorantis is just going to keep using leaf storm which will increase its special attack by two stages every single time it uses it so that's great its shield goes up so iron hands isn't using thunder punch it's using drain punch we're going to use acid spray reduce that special defense by two stages this will help out the Lorantis and also the Maraidon to do damage it removes negative effects from itself unfortunately we're gonna heal heal everyone up hopefully we get a max heal because we really need it right now we didn't get barely any health back it was enough to keep Lorantis alive though personally I don't like doing online dragon raids because a lot of people do tend to use actual dragon type Pokemon regardless of the terror type of the actual dragon Pokemon we're facing so the Haxorus's shield does go down and then it nullifies everything on our side so we're going to need to use an acid spray here to get that special defense back down because all of our stats have gone so we get that acid spray off its special defense goes down and let's see if the actual Maraidon can finish it off with an electro drift I'm not sure who finished it off there, but it does go down. Now we're at a standoff, we're just seeing what happens. So the Haxorus eventually does go down. So as you can see, Swallow is a really solid support. It's really bulky, has stockpile, it can heal with leftovers, it can assist with acid spray, it can get rid of abilities, it can do the lot. So if you like the support role, then I suggest you go out and catch a Swallow. And if you want a really strong Altaria build for raids, then click on screen right now and I'll catch you on the next one.